Hi everyone, I have a craft haul to share with you today. Last week, Simon Says Stamp was having 20% off all of their uh, dies, and there was a certain one that I wanted, so I went ahead and did an order. So the first thing on top of my order was actually a coupon code. So um, you can use the code BREEZY, so B-R-E-E-Z-Y, and it takes $5 off a purchase of $5 or more. So um, that one expires on June the 14th. So the first thing that I picked up is another Lawn Fawn dye ink, and this one is in the color Sunflower. The next set that I picked up is so cute. Um, of course, my uh, channel name is The Crafty Owl, so I love owls. And this was a sweet little set with four owls, and yeah, they're just really nice size and great for cards. Um, I think that this little guy here will be perfect for Father's Day. And the sentiment's really nice. It's, um, I'll be there for you. So that is just kind of like a mini set. And the name of this one is Still a Hoot. And this next one I'm really excited about. This one's from Avery L. And I have been looking for this one for a while. I actually got the pack that has the stamp set as well as the dies included. Um, because when you package them together, you save a little bit. And I definitely wanted to have the dies with this one to cut out the trees and the banner. Of course, the other things as well. Um, and yeah, I love the little critters. I love everything that's woodland animals. And the name of this one is Woodland Wonder. And I fell in love with this one when I saw um, another YouTuber using it for cards. It just looks super sweet. And in particular, of course, I love the little owl, uh, but I also love all the other critters in this set. And next, this was my reason for ordering because of the sale. So this is the Simon Says Stamp. It's their stitched squares. And um, the only thing I was a little disappointed in is it doesn't come in um, a plastic. It just comes in an envelope. So I'm going to have to put this in a plastic. But here are the dies. You do get um, a good number. And the reason um, why I wanted to get these ones is I do love the large one. But the smaller ones, I saw this beautiful card that looked like a patchwork quilt, and I thought that was such a great idea. So um, that's what I'll be using the smaller squares for. And finally, the big purchase. I'm so excited to get the mini Misty. So when the large Misty came out, I did want to get it, but it was bigger. I have a small um, desk for my craft space, and I didn't need such a large piece. And uh, it was a bit expensive, so when the Mini Misty came out um, by My Sweet Petunia, I thought this would be absolutely perfect. Now, if you haven't seen this before, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there about using the, um, the Misty. But basically, um, you can double stamp things because you are holding down your cardstock with a little magnet, and then the door swings open and shut to stamp your image down. Um, so it's particularly great for new stamps because sometimes they don't stamp as perfectly as you'd like them to the first time. Though if that is a big issue for you, um, Jennifer McGuire put out this great video on tips for uh, new stamps. So I went ahead and opened my Mini Misty, and as you can see on my grid here, um, it is a seven inch, and then it's by six inch. Um, and when I flip it over, there are two magnets on the back. So I'm just gonna take those off, and that's what's gonna hold everything into place. So when you're doing your stamping, you, um, you have all the grids here. Um, it actually comes with a bunch of paper so that you can have everything lined up. I think you can do kind of like a test um, strip on there. But basically, I think I'll just keep it in there to keep everything lined up um, and have those little grid marks there. But if you put a piece of card down, you can um, put the magnets on it so that it doesn't move. And then when you put a stamp like, on your paper here, so I just have the word congratulations, and it just fits on that piece of paper. So um, you wouldn't want it to be off-centered at all. So you just close the door, and then it picks up your stamp. But the magnets hold that in place, and then you ink up your stamp, and then you can go ahead and stamp it right where you had it in the first place. Now the nice thing is, is you can always check and make sure it didn't move because you've got the grid paper there. So you can have it perfectly lined up, and then you can stamp it twice if you need to. 
And having the ability to stamp things multiple times is great because I don't have a really huge ink collection. So this tool is gonna allow me to actually um, expand the color palette that I have because when you double stamp lighter inks, you can get that a darker, deeper shade. So that is everything for my craft haul today. And be sure to use that coupon code if you're gonna be ordering from Simon Says Stamp. I hope you have a great day.